Boys, it's real early in the morning. That's because we got a special surprise project here. They just got here all the way from Mother Russia. Okay, so everybody knows Gleb, the Land Cruiser aficionado. Well, he got himself a new Tundra. Now, he didn't only get himself a new Tundra, he got himself a new Tundra. Look at this thing, it is just murder. Matte black and gloss black up front. As you go down the side, it then turns into this gloss back stripe and then a color called Mercedes Gray, which the camera's not even really doing it justice, but it looks killer. Even embossed the uh, TRD logo. So we'll get some better footage of this when the, the light's a little bit better, but this is what we're doing. So, Westcott Designs. This is their new spacer lift for the Tundra. Some nice stickers and stuff. And this one's all anodized black, which is cool because it's gonna look super factory. Um, a lot of the other ones are just like the raw aluminum. So, even cut their logo into the foam, classy. So, we're gonna get this in, and we got a new set of wheels and tires that I'll show you when we're done. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna start with the front, because that'll be the hardest. We're gonna get that done, and then we'll go to the back. All right, so first thing we gotta do, boys, remove the uh, lower sway bar end link. So Glove's gonna do that real quick. All right, let me see if I can pop this baby off. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna take a 22, and then we're gonna pry down right here so Glove can get onto it, and that's for the lower shock bolt. Okay. Okay, so now what you want to do, there's two 22s right here. Start on one side, just kind of loosen it. And then go to the other side, take that one all the way out. Then, in here, you're gonna wanna loosen this uh, cam nut on the lower control arm. You kinda just gotta push this factory mud plate out of the way. I don't wanna call it a skid plate, it's made of plastic. And then we're just gonna loosen it. Now, I'm just gonna tap this shock bolt out. Okay. That's gone. Then, we're gonna take a 14, loosen these, and then this whole thing will drop out. All right, so we're just taking those 14 millimeter bolts off, and then we'll drop this out the bottom. All right, so we're working on the rear here. First thing we wanna do is this 12 millimeter ABS line, and then there is another one you can kinda see up in there. So we're gonna zoom those out real quick. 
So once those are out, and then we need to take this uh, track bar out. That is uh, a 19 millimeter, I believe. And then uh, we're gonna take the shocks out after that. Run around to the other side. Grab that spring as it starts to come out. Yes, boss. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Wow. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take this spacer plate, and this is machined so it fits perfectly inside of that plastic, and then that's just going to go back up in there. And spin that so it fits in there. I think it goes the other way. There you go. Okay, perfect. So next, you want to uh, pull the uh, top of the shock off, and then this little spacer here, this little donut, just drops on there, and it basically just acts as a shock extension. And then we'll get that up in there. We'll connect the bottom part, and then use the jack to give us enough room to thread the uh, nut back onto the top. All right. Uh huh. It's coming, 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 coming. Yes. Give me a second. Yep. I'm starting this thing. You got enough room? Yeah. yeah. Alright boys, so we uh, got the new spacers installed. Have to take the spring out, compress everything. Hopefully you have a nice spring compressor. This one just sits on top like so. So I'm going to slide this up there. We're going to Loctite all these and get it in place. Also, these are marked uh, which, which direction faces out. So make sure you take note in that. All right. Let's Boys, we're gonna get this tightened down and then we're gonna hit you with the cinematics. came out awesome check this thing out on the trails then we got four stuff coming maybe a front bumper coming soon i don't know but anyways enjoy it boys